we're asked to find dy dx given the following equation uh, over here. Okay, so we have to use uh, implicit differentiation. So solution. So when we differentiate uh, the first term, we have to use the product rule. So this will be the first piece. So first, and this will be the second piece, second. Likewise, for the second uh, term, this will be the first piece, and this is the second. Okay, so let's do it. We'll take the derivative of both sides. So the derivative of the first is 2x times the second, which is the sine of y, plus the first, which is just x squared, times the derivative of the second, which is cosine y, and then chain rule, the derivative of the inside is just the derivative of y, so dy dx. So this here is the derivative of the first piece. Let's check it. Let's see. The derivative of the first is 2x, checks, times the second, which is sine y, checks, plus the first, checks, times the derivative of the second, which is cosine y, dy dx. Over here, we still have this plus sign, so plus. Again, the product rule. The derivative of x is 1 times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second, which is dy dx. And on the right-hand side, the derivative of 2 is just 0. Okay, in the next step, we're going to try to do this all at once. So what you do is you keep everything with a dy dx on one side. So I'm going to write all of this, this, and this on the left-hand side. So we have x squared cosine y dy dx plus x dy dx. Everything else needs to go to the right-hand side. So this is going to go to the right-hand side, and this is going to go to the right-hand side. So when you subtract them, they become negative. So you get negative 2x sine y minus y. Uh, to finish, we're going to factor out dy dx and divide, and we'll be done. So dy dx. So here you end up with x squared cosine y plus x. And on the right-hand side, it looks like we have the stuff here. So negative 2x sine y minus y. All right, now we'll divide and we are done. So if you divide both sides by x squared cosine y plus x, x squared cosine y plus x, this cancels and you're left with dy dx equals, let's see, negative 2x sine y minus y all over x squared cosine y plus x. And that's it. We went pretty fast, but you can always uh, rewind, right? So uh, that's it.